Oh. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd give all praise, this honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakadash, the bottom of the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, greetings and salutations to you, Akim, <clears throat> upon the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. Oftentimes, when you speak of uh, conquests, uh, you, you speak of conquerors, you hear the, the names Genghis Khan, or the strong around, Alexander the Great, he was great, as Babylon is great. Um, you see that name thrown around, you, uh, Antiochus the Great, the third, um, Julius. Uh, but fairly, very rarely and seldomly do ones acknowledge who is the greatest conqueror, which is Yahweh Shai. And what makes him, because, you know, we see he walked the earth and, he, you know, he did magnificent miracles and, and he was crucified. He, he, no, but he took his life and he, he took it back again. But what makes him a great conqueror? Because he conquered himself. And that's what we should likewise be doing with the truth. And we'll get that, the precepts are lined up. It's because he conquered himself. And he told death, where's thy sting? And that's your how was shy. Go ahead, bro. That first Corinthians? Oh, no. What you had? What were you holding? Let's get that, um, get, let's get that first Esdras. I got it. Yeah. yeah. First Ezra chapter four verse thirty eight. Revelation two. As for the two. as for the truth, it endureth and is always strong. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. As for the truth, a moth, it endureth. What, you know, it endureth meaning it's, it's continuous, it's impenetrable. It lasts forever. All right. And the truth and Pilate asked such an excellent question. To, and to be honest, one of the most powerful scriptures on um, in the um, Bible, in my opinion. He, and this is a heathen. He said, what is truth? He asked Yahweh Shah that. He said, what is truth? And Yahweh Shah didn't give him an answer. His, his answer was with his action. And that's what made him the conqueror. Go ahead. You got it, bro. Um, you, you finished that? Yeah, I mean, it was yeah, one simple, yeah. Okay, come on. Go, go ahead with that uh, revelations, Baba Kusha. Oh, six and one? Six and two. Revelation 6 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. And I saw and behold a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow. White horse. What is okay? White. White horse. White representing purity. Tahad. Um. And the horse representing strength. Alright. Finesse. Go ahead. And when the chariots, they're they're strong and they're finesse. Right. And they go this way and that way, and it's a wheel within the wheel. Go ahead. Right. It says, uh, and he that sat on him had a bowl, and a crown was given unto him. Right. And he, and he that sat on, upon him had a bow, which the bow is an, an instrument of war. It's a tool that shoots, and it, and it shoots, and it's sharp. Mm -hmm. And the crown, and what is that crown? That crown represents rulership. Which goes to who? The king of kings, lord of lords, whom is Yahweh Shah. The crown represents a conqueror because he, this, he doesn't rule. Any, I mean, as of now, the, the heathens rule this earth. But he has a crown. That means he must conquer. And he's going to conquer this nation and he's going to conquer this earth. America is going to be demolished. But this whole earth is going to be ruled under the jurisdiction of Yahweh Shah. Go ahead, bro. And you can bring your thought. It says... Uh, and a crown was given unto him, mm -hmm. and he went forth conquering. And he went forth doing what? Conquering. Conquering. He, he's a conqueror. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, he conquered himself, and because he conquered himself, he's going to be able to conquer everybody else. And it starts from within. And that's the message unto us all. Is some more on that up? Yeah, it's a little more. Mm -hmm. It says, and he went forth conquering, and to conquer. And to conquer. That's prophecy. Go ahead. That's, that's it on that? Uh, you didn't go into another prophecy or something else. 
Oh yeah, that was a dope yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. You go and grab what you got, bro. Kind of this is uh, you got Matthew chapter twenty eight. I'm gonna get uh, Matthew twenty eight verse uh, verse seven and reads, and go quickly and tell his disciples. This of course this chapter <clears throat> Matthew twenty twenty seven goes to the crucifixion of Yahusha and twenty eight goes to the resurrection of Yahusha. You know, and that's important to believe. Why? Because hey, if you don't believe Yahusha rose the third day. Then you not then you won't believe he's gonna come back because he is a true conqueror, man. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is Matthew twenty eight verse uh, seven, and it reads says, "Go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead, and behold, he go before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you." All right, because some some when you know people heard those things, man, they doubted. Just as we're preaching this gospel now, and people and people doubt. They doubt. They doubt the word. They doubt the power that we have. They, they doubt the power of Yahweh. They doubt the Israelites. All right, they doubt the, they doubt the truth in its entirety. All right, but we here to proclaim that a hey, through a hey, through Yahweh shot, we, hey, we can conquer just like Yahweh shot did, man. All right, let me also uh, skip and go to Matthew twenty eight verse nineteen. It reads, "Go ye therefore and teach all nature, nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, right. teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you." And lo, I had I am with you all way, even unto the end of the world. Amon. All right, so it, it, it confirmed, man. Okay, so you you uh basically giving that acknowledgement to the to Yahweh Shah is you being is you uh allowing that power to be within you, you know, that Holy Spirit. And I know the brothers holding that first Corinthians 15. Come that goes right, that goes right into that that resurrection, and that involves those be that believe in Yahweh Shah. You know, that that's why that that uh Goes right into that conquering with concerning your house, man. You know, you can grab that if you want. To. You got it. oh, con, con. Uh, this is First Corinthians, chapter fifteen, and um, I'll start uh, fifty three. It says, "For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality." So then, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption. And this mortal shall have put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like what the brother was going into, Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, man. Mm -hmm. He conquered himself. He conquered life. Mm. He beat life. Yeah. All right? So death was defeated because he didn't sin once. All right? And that's why... um. His body, his body didn't decompose because he was perfect. And that's why he, he resurrected on the third day. And like the mm -hmm. brother said, if you don't believe that, you really don't believe in his sacrifice. So you're not covered by the sacrifice if you don't believe he rose again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it says, um, verse, uh, verse 55, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. And the strength of sin is the law, because uh, sin is the transgression of the law. It says, But thanks be to the Most High, Yahweh, which giveth us the victory through our Lord, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So the, the Heavenly Father, He gave us the victory through His Son, through His only begotten Son. He gave us the victory, meaning we already won the nation of Israel beginning with the elect. It says, uh, verse 58 Therefore my beloved brethren Be steadfast, unmovable Always abounding in the work of the Lord For as much as you know That your labor is not in vain in the Lord Alright Just like Yahweh Shai's labor wasn't in vain Now he's sitting on the, on the right hand of, of the Heavenly Father Because of the, the sacrifice that he made Alright How he dedicated his life mm -hmm. And he gave his life He laid down his life for the ministry For the truth mm -hmm. Alright if yeah, I can just yeah. just to back just to back the brother's point over how he said uh that we that you already what you what you mentioned you are we already had the uh the victory yeah the victory yeah. you know just because the scripture said with Luke seventeen twenty one the kingdom is is within and then Revelation three and eleven said hold that fast without has so that's that backs up the brother's point and then, and then uh Yahweh Shah said both those statements so it is right. you gotta know you hold it so come uh. <coughs> This is the book of St. John, chapter 14. Verse, verse 12. And it reads, 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, and the me is Yahweh Shai, the works that I do shall he do also. So Yahweh Shai, he took his life again. He, he, he was resurrected from the dead. And death, where was thy sting? And that was a work. That's something he did. You see? And so, likewise, we are going to become immortal based upon putting off this incorruptible uh, or this corruptible flesh. All right, made into incorruption, but it's going to be through Yahweh Shah. Yes, it's through our works because faith without work is dead, but it was truly solidified and substantialized through the blood of Yahweh Shah through his works. It says, um, and it reads, it says, I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father. So it wasn't, it's like, okay, we're going to do greater works than Yahweh Shai. I don't understand that, but I believe it. But how is that? Why, why, how is that possible? Because he is going to the father. So it's still because of the works of Yahweh Shai. So we can never diminish uh, the works of Yahweh Shah. All right? It's through Yahweh Shah and his sacrifice we're going to have any and everything, man. We have, you know, we're blessed right now. You know, we have uh, victuals. We have our daily bread. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're cursed. We understand one of the curses, but the Lord still, he takes yeah. care of us and protects us, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But he's going to take it to an a astronomic level. All right, he's going to give us planets. He's going to give us property out of measure. Gold, silver, um, all different types of magnificent crystals, amethyst, chalcedony. You know, crystals and, and, and geo pieces, uh, works of art will be the formats of our own houses and palaces. Right. That's what we're coming into, man. Like the foundations of the kingdom. That jasper. That Yashapa, the Aespis. All right? And that foundation is what? Yahweh Shah. Right. That foundation is what Peter established, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and the continuation on which we were just talking about it. Let, I mean, let's, let's be honest. Who holds the scepter of Peter? Who, 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 who sits in that seat? It's Apostle Tahar, man. All right? Yep. Apostle Tahar. Not the Pope, not the papacy, man. The Apostle Tahar, he sits in the seat of Peter, man. All right? And that's the same foundation, going back to the foundation, Tabernacle of David. That's the foundation that we're building upon right now. Was it not Abba Bivens who established this? Mm -hmm. Abba? Was it not Abba Bivens? And if they knew who he was, oh, it would make so much sense. Oh, that guy with the covenant, that, yeah, it would make sense. But he revealed his secrets to the servants and prophets. Go ahead. I can. Oh, matter of fact, it's on me. It says, um, and it reads, it says, uh, verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Mm -hmm. Showing you the importance of not only the works of Yahweh Shah, but also the name of Yahweh Shah. Both of these commodities are significantly important when you're considering the salvation of the elect. And the elect will call upon his name. And that's how they're going to be able to do these great works. Mm -hmm. It says um, that it says that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, matter of fact, no. Verse 14. If ye shall ask anything. So he's making it. Uh, he's being he's. He's making an emphasis. He's, he's making it, he's repeating himself because of the importance. Feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. He's repeating himself because it's, it's very severe. That's why he says, um, he, he goes back and continues to say just what he just said in the previous verse. He says it again, verse 14. It says, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Why did he just say that two times? Because it's power in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Then he goes on and says, If ye love me, keep my commandments. And that's your end of the bargain. That's your works. That's our works. Mm -hmm. You know? 
And we're coming to a time where we about to catch, cash in that spiritual bank account, man. And Lord willing, we predestined. Mm -hmm. uh, Go ahead, Akin. Got it. I, uh, I bounce off that John chapter 14 with Acts chapter 1, verse 6. And it reads, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Right. All right. That, and they and those disciples they were they were hastening the coming man they were they was uh they they were they wanted they was seeking the kingdom of Israel and that but that wasn't the time it's the time right now right. you know it's like we in the second book of Acts all right because it, we hey, it says uh our salvation is nearer than what we believe, believe yeah. you know in verse seven because the brother mentioned uh that we got we had to call in that name the, our works mm -hmm. all right, right. We, we in those times now about to receive this power verse seven and it says he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power, but ye shall receive power. All right, so we about to come into that time receiving power in, in the time we're living in right now. All right, it says, after that, the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. All right, and verse 9 says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. Yahweh shot. So after that resurrection, after he after he conquered death, he beat life, man. He, he was he was getting what delivered, and that's and that's that was just a that was a pre showing of what's going to happen to his his men, his servants that believe in him mm. in these last days right now. What's going to happen to them? They're going to get bent up the same way. Greater was, works, right? greater, greater works. works. Yeah, greater works. It's going to be that that's that that was that foreshadowing, you know. In verse ten, it says, "And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by him." Stood by them in white apparel, and of course, those being angels, right? That the brother mentioned that white symbolizing purity, you know, in verse 11. And it reads, Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, watch then ye gazing up into heaven. This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So, the same way we see him get delivered up, he's going to return back when he's going to crack those clouds. He's going to, that's how Yahweh Shai is coming back, but he's coming back to. To, to destroy and to deliver. Right, you know, his right. name means he delivered, he saves, right. man. Yeah. So he's going to destroy the wicked, yeah. but he's going to he's going to save the, the just, the faithful, the servants, the Israelites that sincerely believe in Yahweh by Shemiah yeah. that yeah. name. Yeah. You know, because of Sirach 17, 17 uh, verse 10 and 11, mm -hmm. it said, the elect shall praise mm -hmm. my holy name. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so, yep. The elect shall praise my yep. holy name. Yep. And that's why, you know, you see some people... I saying the name doesn't matter. Oh, you yeah. see some yeah. people saying the name is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You even have some people claiming to be the legitimate leadership of the nation of Israel, and they say they don't know the name. We don't know the name. Yeah. Because you're not you're not conducting yourself in the manner of the elect. Can't say you're yeah. not the elect, but based upon your yeah. character and your conduct, you're yeah. showing characteristics of being none elect. Yeah, yeah, because they let they're not going to be hey, the let not the let gonna be calling on the name of the Lord. The scriptures the claim it it clearly says that. Yeah. It's, it then said uh, as if it, if it were at all possible to deceive the very elect, so that means it's not possible. Absolutely. So it, it's nothing you is the let gonna be guaranteed calling on the name of the Lord in these last days. And he, his name is out here. Why would he not have his name out here? We got to call on him to be delivered, and we're living in these last days. Right, you know they're putting the Lord in the box. They're yeah. saying he's not powerful enough to have his name on earth. The one who created earth. He's not powerful enough to have his name on it. They should be ashamed of themselves. Like, think about that. That's a cop-out. <laughs> that shows mm -hmm. you, man. And the Lord way deeper than what you thought. You over here trying to put the Lord. The Lord is way deeper than... And that's not a difficult thing for the Lord to do, by the way. Mm -hmm. Give you, right. give us his name. He gave us the identity, the culture yeah. back. He gave us the love and the fringes. He gave you the fringes. He kept yeah. his word intact for us. He kept the, the testimony yeah, of you, how Shah intact. But he can't give us the name in the last days. You should be ashamed of yourself because you know about at this point, you know you're wrong. And it's just about if you're going to be humble and repent or you're going to be proud and you're going to have to deal with that conqueror when he come. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can get it. I got one. Uh, this yeah. is going back into the, the sacrifice. Uh, Hebrews chapter 2. And um, um, I'll start at Seven. It says, "Thou madest him a little lower than the angels." Mm -hmm. All right. Speaking on Yahweh Shai. All right, because 
he was made lower than the angels because he he, was, he came in, in physical flesh, just like us. He was born of a man and a woman. All right, it says, um, and, uh, I'll read that again. Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with the glory and honor and didst set him over the works of thy hands. All right, the heavenly father, Yahweh, he set Yahweh Shai over the work, over the works of his hands, meaning he gave Yahweh Shai pretty much all power. All right, it says, verse eight, thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. Right, so after Yahweh Shai made that sacrifice, the Lord gave him everything. He gave him the whole universe. Everything is under Yahweh Shai, except for the Heavenly Father himself. But like this, the, the last part says, we don't see that yet, all right, because Yahweh Shai hasn't returned. We still see the, the wicked uh, ruling the planet Earth, all right, Des destroying the Earth, all right, destroying the minds of the people, de destroying uh, the, the creation, all right, the animals. All right, but pretty soon that's going to change. Verse, let me see, verse 9. Um, let me see, yeah, verse 9. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels, for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of the Most High, should taste death for every man. So when he made that sacrifice, he tasted of that sting of death for all of us. For all of our sins. That's why he was the greatest sacrifice. That's why yeah. we don't need animals anymore. We don't need to sacrifice animals anymore. That's not necessary because he was the ultimate sacrifice. He was perfect. Mm. He's above animals. The, the mm. Lord the, the Lord, it wasn't delighted in those, those animals. The animal sacrifice. Alright? So that's why <laughs> that's why all, all glory goes to Yahweh yeah, Shai. Shai. That's why all the angels worship Yahweh Shai. All right, that shows you how powerful that, that sacrifice was. He's above the flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got one. Uh, this is a little oh, more. Absolutely. This is one more. Okay, um, verse 10. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things. Woo! Showing you that Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, through his son, created all things. Yeah. The Heavenly Father only created his son. That's all he did. His son created everything else through the with the angels. It says... Uh, and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory, the elect, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. That's why he had to suffer the cross. He had to. He had to suffer uh, persecution. He had to suffer uh, of false accusations, all right, being stabbed in the back. He had to suffer all those things, all right? And we, we, we follow after him, so we had to suffer the same things. Mm -hmm. All right. That was yeah, kind of, I got one. Um, let's see. This is um, <clears throat> this is the book of Saint John, chapter ten, uh, verse eighteen. Pardon me. Um, verse seventeen. Therefore, does my Father love me, which the Father is Yahweh, and the me is Yahweh Shai. It says, because I lay down my life. That I might take it again. Yahweh shall lay down his life and he took it again. He conquered death. Mm -hmm. He resurrected. He transcended. And he did ascend as well. He ascended likewise. All right? And that's the, and and he did what he said he was gonna do. The same way when Yahweh said, All right, you, you know, you play games. I, Put you on slave ships. And I'm going to sell you on auction blocks. He said that in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. And he did it. He did what he said he was going to say. He said that he was going to send his son. He sent his son. He said at that three years and a half. He said he was going to send Elijah. And Elijah was sent. And he said he's going to deliver us. And the children of Israel are going to be delivered into immortality, man. The same way the curses have been manifested. His promises, his word, the covenants will not be broken. And that is truth. Mm -hmm. 
And that truth is, as we just read, is what endures forever. I believe we started off with that. Yep. You got, you got it, Doctor. Okay, I got it. Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 35, and it reads, Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach Yahweh Shah, the anointed Yahweh Shah? It says, Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Because the brother mentioned, Hey, Yahweh Shah went through those things hey, for, hey, for us to what? Follow after, man, us being yeah. disciples. Yeah. You know, he, he, he said, You know, uh, is a servant greater than his master? Yeah. You know? It says, uh, so what it says, for persecution, distress, you know, dangerous times, though they're coming after us, betrayal, all right? Verse 36 says, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sleep, as sheep for the slaughter. Verse 37, nay, no, all right? It says, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, this is the spirit that, you know, we're hoping, hey, we're hoping to have, man, Okay. It's because of what my in my Bible is subject titled the believer yeah. secure, you know. This, so they, we're secure that we and we sincerely believe in this in these scriptures here, man. All right, and we're hoping to endure as Yahweh Shai did. We look we look at his uh uh his his journey, all right, his his sacrifice, you know, his his garden of Gethsemane moment moment. You know, we're all gonna have that moment, man. We're gonna feel like, oh damn, is, is the Lord with it? Is the Lord with me? You know, just as Yahweh Shai had that moment, he's like, man, my God, my God, have you forsaken me? It ain't like he just lost all faith. No, he just, that's, shit got real. You know, yeah. shit just, shit is just real. Man. still yeah. in the flesh. Still in the flesh. We, and how much more so we right now in, in a weaker flesh, you know? We, so we just hoping to have that same spirit when these bad times kick off, man. Right. And we always going to keep in mind what? Hey, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's going to be the first thing just off. This is off instinct. We're not going to need to hey, write it down, mm -hmm. right? Look at this scripture. That, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be off. Hey, the spirit gonna be within. Says the kingdom of, of, the, of the of the most or the kingdom of heaven is, is within you. Right. All right. So that's uh -huh. what we that's what, that's what we hoping to have, man. We are not gonna have, and we gonna we, this is gonna be real in, in us in that time when shit hit the fan, kick off Jacob's trouble right. that is about to kick off in these last days. Hey, everything that we mentioned, hey, we hoping to have that same spirit as Yahweh Shai, that true conqueror, man. Come, on, come. On. Yeah. If I can add add to that we'll last part, you yep. said um, in in the times of trouble, um, Proverbs uh, was that. 18 and 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. You talking about the strong yeah. tower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the yeah. name of the yeah. Lord, yeah. actually. Yeah. Like you said, it's going to yeah. come natural. It's going to yeah. come natural. Yeah. We're not going to have to uh, have it written down like, oh, where's, what was the name again? No, nah, it's in us. Mm -hmm. these, right. Yeah, these guys are going terribly off, man. He said, the name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and the yeah. safe. Yeah, what is that's your problem it. with the name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're not the elect. Right. And right. I hope you prove me wrong. I do. But you, you, if you're going against the name until further notice, you're not of the elect. Yeah, kind of say it. What scripture says, says, let's wait. Let's you repent. Let's you yep. repent. You know? That's what it's about. Yeah. We're not here to bash anybody. We're here to save souls. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I got one. Mm -hmm. um, this is Philippians chapter 3 and verse 14. It says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high. In Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. So we're on that, that same mission that Yahweh Shai was in, that high calling. Mm -hmm. All right, from on high. Because this is this is a movie we're in. Right, right. We're all characters in the, in Yahweh's movie. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai is the main character. All right, Lord willing, we be of the elect. We're, we're, we're supporting characters. Right. Yeah. We press for the mark. Right. It says for the prize. The, the prize is immortality. Yeah. All right, the kingdom of heaven. Verse 15. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, the Most High shall reveal even this unto you. Uh, verse 16. Nevertheless, where two we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. One, one mind, one doctrine. Yep. <sighs> Guys, come on, man. Not looking good right now. Just follow the scriptures, man. Just follow the scriptures. You're making it more hard. You're making it difficult. You're leading people to be to, to die from famine. You're gonna lead people to die and get the, the chip because you're being stupid. Just follow the scriptures, man. I already spoke about it earlier. The Apostle the Heart, he holds the keys to Peter, man. He's the legitimate heir of the church. 
under Yahweh Shai, and of course under David. Come. Take heed, man. The platform is here. The presence is here. The knowledge, the information, the edification, the love, the wisdom is at it's accessible. Come, come. I'm gonna read on down uh, to verse 21. Uh, I'm gonna just read through real quick. It says, verse 17, brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahweh Shai, the ones that don't believe in the resurrection, that don't believe in the miracles of Yahweh Shai, they don't oh, yeah. believe in the power of his name. All right, yeah. those are those are the enemies, enemies bro. of the cross. I'm not sure. Yeah, anti. Yeah, I'm not anti. Sure, yeah. Uh, it says, verse nineteen, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their name. Oh, it's like it, in their shame. Yeah, that's true though. They do glory in their own name. Yeah, <laughs> they testify to themselves. Yeah. For real, for real. Mm -hmm. You see? Call them all in due season. Go ahead, bro. It says, who mind earthly things? Yeah. And this is the point, verse 20. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That's our conversation. That's what, that's what we do these lessons on. All right? The kingdom of heaven, salvation. All right? Being, being, um, being found so doing the, the work. Mm -hmm. Teaching the, the, the truth. Warning the people of what's coming. Yeah. The M O T B. Yep. Yeah. All right. The C H I P. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The prophecies. Instead of you know harping on garments and marriage, you know, hey, you talking about heavenly hey, things that are on another level, man. Right. Like supreme. Right. You know. And you got right. Go. Just like Yahweh Shot said, he's not of the world. Just mm -hmm. like we're not of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am from above, and ye are from beneath. Yep. That's what he told them. Because they were they were slow belly, they were partakers of this world, and it has a pull, yes. It, but you have to be a conqueror. And you have to fight it and overcome it. You got it, up, bro. Come on, uh, end off on this mm -hmm. verse twenty one. Who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto Ooh, himself. Perfect. Read that part again. You got it, bro. <laughs> Verse 21, who, who yeah. shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body mm -hmm, mm -hmm. according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. All things. All he, con he conquered things. all things. That's right. This is, good. So this is exciting, brothers. We're literally about to, we're walking in it and we're walking into what we you know, the, the, the prize. 2020, 2022 is here, bro. The, the, the CHRP, we can't even say it anymore. It's here. Yeah. It's here. That's the last prophecy. No. Lord willing, um, Lord willing that we're found worthy. You know? Mm -hmm. Come, Lord come. Willing. Hey, that's come. all I got, Doctor. Come, come. come. Yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we can end off with that. Okay, absolutely. Uh, with that, Giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rachakudash, the abundance of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to Yahweh. Shalom, keep the faith. Shalom. Shalom. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.